<clears throat> Hi, so this video today um, is January 22nd, Tuesday, 2019. I'm doing this video so that you can understand what it is exactly that happens when you go to sleep. A lot of you are wondering, some of you are wondering how to get messages from the divine, how to get messages from your spirit guide. <coughs> How to get messages from your angels all around. A lot of you do your meditation tapes. A lot of you are trying to focus on your third eye, your throat chakra. All these different elements together can help to get you to another level. When you are awoken <coughs> in the middle of the night by spirit, there is a reason for that. If you're waking up the same night every time, at the same time, there's a message there. Look at the clock. Look outside. Try to think about what it was you were dreaming about before you woke up. Write it down. Keep a pad and pencil by your bed all the time. When spirit, especially your loved ones that have passed over, that are on the other side, when they come to you, while you're dreaming, when you get into that REM stage, when they're trying to get you at your most vulnerable time so that you don't resist, so that you're not afraid, so that you don't fear the message that they're trying to give you. Sometimes it's just a message of love. Sometimes it's just a message of support saying, guess what, I'm still here with you. I've never left you. I still love you. I miss you. But yet I am with you. Although you can't see me and you feel as if I'm gone, I'm really still here. I've never left you spiritually. Only my physical body decomposed itself and broke down and had to be taken away. But they could never remove my spiritual energy. I'm still here with you is what they want you to know. Whether it's your brother, your sister, your mother, your father, your grandmother, your grandfather, your great auntie, your great uncle, whoever this is, your best friend, your lover, your wife, your husband, your child, they are still here with you, even your pets. Your pets don't leave you as well. We challenge ourselves on a daily basis trying to, to get the answers from those who are on the other side or did you also know that your partner, the one that you haven't been with for quite some time, the one that you're missing, the one that you want to be back reconnected with, did you know that that partner can astro travel while they're sleeping because they went to bed thinking of you? Or you can astro travel because when you went to bed you were thinking of them and your body actually goes spiritually <clears throat> and visits that partner. And tells them, I miss you. I want to hear from you. I want you to call me. I need to tell you something. I want to explain something. Either way, them or you saying that. This happens. So much happens when you're sleeping. So many downloads come to you. And it's in your subconscious mind. That's why when you fall asleep doing your Reiki meditations or your uh, binaural beats going on for positive energies or healings or things of that nature or, you know, to have positive affirmations or to lose weight or to quit smoking. When you're doing all these things and you fall asleep with those things in your ears, the messages in your ears, it goes into your subconscious mind. Just like when your children are sleeping, whisper positive affirmations in their ears when they're sleeping. Tell them how beautiful they are. Tell them how smart they are. Tell them how bright they are. Tell them how proud of you you are of them. Tell them, you know, they can do anything they put their mind to. Create this in their subconscious mind so that their self-esteem will build. And when they get to a place of despair growing up or they feel like they're defeated and can't do something, their subconscious mind will kick in. Say, yes, I was told that I could do it. I was told that I'm good enough. So doing your positive affirmations at night is very important for everyone. Please make this part of your regimen. 
the picture that you see focused on this this title for this uh, video that I'm doing is to show you how spirit comes to you in the middle of the night. How it wakes you up, but yet the body is still there resting. Your body, the physical form, is still there resting. But your spiritual body comes up and meets the angels, meets your loved ones, meets the divine heavenly God, the Father Almighty. It meets the other person from the spiritual side, from beyond the veil. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a blessing in disguise. Do not fear it. Some of you may see, as you did on my videos before, the orbs that are around me. That is only angels and the energy of spirits coming around you, testing the water, so to speak, to make sure that it's okay for them to be there, to make sure they're not scaring you. They don't want to worry you. So they come in a real small little form rather than a big body standing up in front of you. But some of you actually have sat up in your bed and seen angels. Some of you actually heard them and thought, am I losing my mind? Am I really seeing what I'm seeing? Some of you were even afraid to tell anyone what it was that you saw or what it was that you heard. Getting interpretations of your dreams is very important. Some of these messages can heed warning to many different things, whether it's your health, whether it's your job, whether it's your love relationship, so many things. Whether you're looking for direction in life, where to go from here. Maybe you've reached your max at your job. There's nowhere up. Nowhere up unless you went back to college for four more years. Then there's nowhere to go up. And you can't do college for four more years. You can't afford that. For some of you, this is going to be a very exciting and challenging period. For some of you, you're waking up between 2 and 4 a.m. Very, very important. Very, very important for the messages to get through. If you put your feet on the ground before you get the message that's supposed to be given to you, you will forget it. I promise you, you will forget it. Once your feet hit the ground and you get out of that bed, you're going to forget what you were dreaming about, what you were thinking about. So please keep the notepad right next to your bed or in your bed if you can. So that's right there, conveniently start writing immediately what you, what you were just thinking, what you were just dreaming because that was in your subconscious mind. That was the messages that were given to you and sent to you. Some of you are definitely, especially now, with the planets doing all these wonderful, beautiful things. Although some yet worrisome, yeah. But still at the same time, very positive. As I said, energy is always moving. So a lot of you within the next week or two, even for the whole month coming up of February, you're going to be getting some downloads. Don't be afraid. It's going to help guide you. These downloads are not negative. These downloads are positive things that are coming as information for you to use as tools to get you to the next level. Whether that's in love, career, family. Either way, these are tools for you. And this is going to be a blessing. So remember to thank your angels and to welcome your angels in before you go to bed. Welcome all all of your family that may be on the other side to communicate with you. Let them know that you're open for communication and you welcome them to visit you while you sleep. This is going to be so exciting. I want you to please take the time to comment on this video. I want you to comment if you've already had this happening, if you've already seen spirits in your dreams, if you've already spoken to a loved one, I want to read this. I want to know it. I want other people to read it as well. I want this video to go big because there's so many people out there that don't even realize that they're astro traveling when they're sleeping. You're going from one place to another. That's why when you wake up in the next day, you're so eager to speak to uh, Aunt Mary or Aunt Lucy or Uncle Joe or or Uncle John, you're, you're wanting to go see your mother or your father. You're wanting to go to maybe the cemetery to visit these people. There's a reason for it, because they spoke to you the night before. There's a reason you can't get your ex off of your mind. It's not because your ex is such a rotten person. It's because you truly love that person. You truly, deeply, madly love that person. Yes, you tend to get together and break up and get together and break up. 
But no matter what they've done, no matter what's happened, it definitely is the fact you love this person and you want to be with this person. That is what you desire. So when you sleep, you astro travel to your partner. That's why they haven't forgotten you either. That's why they keep coming back. Because even though there may not be communication physically between the two of you when you're wide awake, when you both sleep, you are communicating and saying so many different things. I think you're going to definitely enjoy now understanding when it's time to go to bed, when you're tired. Don't fight it. Don't resist it. Because that could be that your partner may already be sleeping and they're already trying to uh, ESP to you. They're already trying to tune in with you. They're already trying to magnetically attract you to them. Because you are desiring your partner and they are surely desiring you. When somebody has left somebody for someone else, because they thought the grass was so much greener on the other side. It doesn't take long for them to realize that it wasn't. So that is why you cannot get someone off of your mind and they cannot get you off of their mind. They know they had it good. They know you were the best they ever had. They just need the confidence to come back. This is not about you. This is about your partner. They need the confidence and the courage to come back. So when you go to sleep at night, don't fear the unknown because the unknown is actually known. It is energy that has already been around you and in your life at one point in time. Now there is a segment I'm going to do where some people have had experiences with spirits that aren't from such a great place that have sexually encountered them, have sexually abused their bodies, have sexually um, penetrated some people while they were sleeping. Some people felt that, but when some people woke up and it stopped it right away. But some people that take the sleeping medicines or stay very sound asleep, they don't wake up in time and they wonder what happened. They remember the whole thing, but it feels like it's a crazy nightmare. But is it a nightmare or did it really happen? Wait and watch my next video.